Welcome back to another MIPS architecture tutorial. So today we're going to be taking a look at how to compose MIPS code. In the previous tutorial, you should already have seen a few of these instructions in the MIPS, you know, instruction type tutorial. If you don't remember them, don't worry. Just go through these again and once you're done, move on to the next part of our tutorial. So these are the problems that we're going to be solving here today. And we're going to start off with the simplest piece of code out there. Let's get started. So in the question, as you can see, f equal to g plus h minus i plus j. And the values of these variables, they're stored in the registers s0 to s4. So what's the first thing you have to do? You're going to have to add the contents of G and H and we're going to be storing that in a temporary register T0. You can use any temporary register here. I just want to use T0. It doesn't matter if you use another one. So G is in S1 as is written in the question and H is in S2. All right. We do the same for I and J. And we store that in T1. I is in S3. And J is in S4. So we've added G plus H. And we've added I and J. And now we're just going to carry out the subtraction. And we're going to be storing it in register S0. Why? Because F is represented by S0 as given in the question. And we're going to be subtracting T1 from T0. So write T0 first and then T1. Quick recap. Here, um, the operation that's being carried out is the contents of T0 minus T1. And you're going to be storing that in S0. All right. And in these ones, just S1 plus S2 is going to be stored in T0. So if you've understood this, then our basics are done and we can be moving on. Okay, so here is our next question. It's fairly simple. The only difference between the last piece of code and this piece of code is this here A of 8. So what do you have to do when you see something like this, you know, A of 8 or B of 7 or maybe, you know, A of I? What do you have to do? So you have to at first, you know, calculate the memory address from A of 8. So what you have to do is apply this formula. Memory of memory address is equal to um, 4 into your offset plus base address all right this is your formula and this is how you represent this formula in code so your offset here is 8 so 4 into 8 is 32 and your base address ha has been given in the question and the base address of a is s3 so s3 but we're not going to be writing it like that we're going to be writing it in the official format, which is 32, then bracket S3. All right, so what does this 32 bracket S3 mean? It means 32 plus S3. And we got 32 by multiplying 4 into 8, which was the offset according to our formula. So now that's out of the way, we've got our memory address. Next step is we load it into a register. So you lo use our load, you know, command, load instruction. I'm going to be choosing the register T0 again. And we're going to be loading from 32S3, from that memory address, into register T0. All right, so from here to here. Hopefully you've seen the previous tutorial. Um, it's clearly explained there as well. So all you have to do now is just add T0 with H and store that in G, just like our previous question. Add S1 <coughs> with T0 
and H, which is S2. And there you have it. These two lines of code are the MIPS equivalent of this here. All right, so let's move on. <clears throat> Our next question is quite similar to that one. Should be easy enough. Here we go. So here you can see that we have, again, we have A of 8. And we also have an A of 12 here. So I'm just going to show you what the difference is. So what's the first thing that we do? We calculate our memory address. So memory address is, you know, 4 into offset, which is 32, plus our base address. And we're going to be writing it with the bracket. So S3. And then we're going to be loading that into our temporary register the contents of the memory address from memory into our register there we go and now we're going to be adding H and A of 8 and here as you can see our A of 12 is not like H you know there is no register for that given so we're going to have to carry out another instruction here. So for now, we're just going to add H and T naught, which means, you know, S2 and T naught and put it in another register, T1. And T naught and we have S2. Okay, so I've added H and A of 8 and I've stored this in the temporary register T1. Now, in order to carry out this part, A of 12 is equal to, you know, this, we're going to have to use the store command, right? So remember, for load, it's from here to here, and from store, it's the opposite. You're going to have to write the source first, the source memory address first. So our source here is uh, our source here is right our source here is t1 and our destination here right so our source here is t1 we're going to be moving the data from register t1 which is this and we're going to be storing it in a of 12 so how do you write a of 12 exactly the same as before 12 into 4 is 48 or offset into 4 plus our base address which is s3 and here we go all right so quick recap we put we calculated the memory address of a of 8 and we put that in our register here we loaded it into our register t naught added h which is s2 and t naught and we stored that in t1 and we took the value from t1 and finally we stored that in a of 12 which is this memory address here all right 48 plus s3 and if you've understood this piece of code everything else should become really simple because it's just these instructions over and over again basically so here is our next one it has another twist which you're going to be seeing